In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple MOF uh, transition slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put two rectangles here uh, where I put option number one. You can add the icon, the title and the detailed text. When I click, so you can see here how it is going towards the option two, how it's flipping. Then the option number three, option number four. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, uh, choose the rectangle and just click it here and it will create a rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with a dark blue color and then hold the control shift key add it one towards the right and then make this color as a light blue color or you can give any color of your choice then i'm going to select both the shapes again hold the control shift key and again drag this to the right and then i'm going to select all the shapes press control g to group it and then increase the height and increase the width okay which looks something like this here all right then i'm going to drag this down by holding the control shift key okay drag it down and then for this i'm going to give the color which is gray color all right so you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to select both the shapes and right mouse click and group ungroup it all right and make sure that this is i have to pull it down a little bit yes this is okay so once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one more rectangle here, select one more rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the all these rectangles, shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to give some dark gray color and then send this to back. Now the here I'm going to insert the text and the option number. So go to insert text. I'm going to type one and font color. I'm going to use white and area black font i'm going to make it and here maybe i'm going to make it 100 and put it here exactly in the center all right something like this should be in the center hold the control shift key drag it towards the other rectangles or the squares all right so now this is number two three and four then go to insert icons i'm going to select some random icons for this particular tutorial you can use some relevant tutorial uh, the icons for your slides all right so i'm just going to randomly select uh, four different icons move it down and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 and then for each one i'm going to place it exactly below this option number i'm going to place this you can see here sorry my apologies and select this one and move it here all right so you can see here i've got four so again i'm going to select this one and make sure this is align middle all right then go to the insert text box i'm going to add a title here and this title i'm going to make it center align make it bold you can choose any font of your choice and then go to insert text box i'm going to add some detailed text equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete this center align reduce the font size and put it exactly below the title hold the control shift key sorry that one first of all i have to select this one and this both and then hold the control shift key and drag it here again hold the control shift key and drag it and for this option number four all right so the next step which we need to do is i'm going to select this uh, shape number two hold the shift key select the below one then don't select the third select the fourth one and the below of the fourth one all right and then go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical so you don't see any difference here but when we do a uh, morph transitions you can see 
now go to the transitions select morph all right and then i'm going to make this as point one second or one second only the next thing is i'm going to duplicate this one three more uh, times so duplicate slide so this is a slide number two then slide number three right mouse click again duplicate it so you can see here i have duplicated four times okay the first one i'm going to go now i'm going to delete all these three here okay I'm only keeping the one and delete this part and here also we need to delete then go to the second one keep second only and the rest of them we have to delete it so i'm going to select this delete and here i'm going to delete it now the third i'm going to keep only third and delete the rest and then fourth keep only the fourth delete the first three all right so now if i do a slideshow so this is the slide number one you can see here it comes something like this all right again if you want to change this one so that it should come more of uh, this one again i'm going to select this shape format rotate i can make it flip horizontal so what happens here is it will change the the way it flips okay we can see here how it is flipping so now again if i want to go here i'm going to make it flip vertical again now you see here it will rotate in a different way so you can see here it is rotating something like so depending on the requirement how you want to rotate you can select that multiple times so again go to the slide number four select this one i'm going to rotate it vertical once again now we will see how it looks so this is one two three and four see four there's no change because I haven't done anything here so again I need to do flip vertical okay so you can see here it looks something like this so different different ways you can just make it depending on the requirement